What keeps Casual loving what he does? Uh, you've been in the game for over 25 years. Have you ever felt like you needed to walk away and do something different? Like, yeah, yeah. like the last four, five years when I ain't put out no record. I've just been running the company, Hieroglyphics. I started a, a, a celebration that's been considered a holiday in my hometown, Oakland, California. It's called Hiro Day. Mm -hmm. It's been running on the seventh annual event this year. Wow. I've been the executive director just putting all that together. Bringing out the artists, so now I switched up my position a bit. I pay the artists now, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's what bosses do. But keeping it real, I'm just joking. But, <laughs> but keeping it real, I still got a burning desire to just drop music. But like you said, a couple years ago, I just was, you know, something, I dropped a project and it was hot. But sometimes I tell myself stuff like, if don't nobody say nothing to me about putting out no more music, then I'm just not going to bother nobody. Like, if I don't hear the fans, like, why you ain't dropping nothing? What's going on? Right. And I got to that point to where people start doing that. Like, why? What's up? Because morale would be crazy dealing with uh, dealing with this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel for some artists who don't even got a spot in hip-hop because I got a spot. I'm, my spot is mine. I'm casual. Nothing going to take that away forever. If I go, ugh, and fall over right now, <laughs> they'd be like, casual fell over. So that's what happened. I'm like, I got my spot. And I, I respect it, but at the same time, I mean, even artists like myself find ourselves striving to be like, you know, what the other artist is. Like, man, they all on private jets, and now I feel like Rinky Dink, you know what I'm saying? Right. But there's somebody below me looking like, man, he on tour, and he talking to all this, this, and that. And so it's levels to it. I understand instead of aspiring to be something, I just, you just gotta appreciate what you are, who you are, accept success. Like success is something you need to accept and not always strive for. Right. And that's what I'm saying because sometimes you are already successful, but you're still striving for another level that you just ain't even accepted your own success. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna kick back and accept this. Like, hey, there's a lot of people who ain't put out 15 albums and had major label deals, got their own record company, could drop whenever they want, could still tour underground after 25 years. And I see people who can't even get a show. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And so I'm proud of it and I respect that. Uh, you know, it's some longevity in underground hip hop. Uh, looking back, you know, I've been following hip hop over 30 years. Um, a lot of crews, man, can't seem to keep keep it together. They always put their business out in the public. They don't get along. They get back together. I've never seen hieroglyphics be. Uh, what's the 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 secret behind not bringing your uh, dirty laundry uh, to the public? I ain't no secret, really. It's just like that's just hell attacking. We all know you can't recover from a lot of that stuff. You might think you did. You might say, oh, it was just a Twitter joke. Oh, right. I ain't raced it. We cool down. But right. you put a stain on your legacy. Right. So instead of, I mean, you know, instead of really hashing things out in public like that, that just ain't our nature. Uh, you know, it just ain't. I mean, out of anybody in my whole crew, I'm the first who will be willing to do some shit like that. And <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying just out of our attitudes, because I'm more like confrontational and like that. But no one's like that in my crew. Right. And I, I, I'm blessed to be able to know Jeremy with that much level-headed level men who just be like, let's hash this out a different way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because this could explode into something else. Like, dudes will say stuff like that. You know I imagine. Saying? I mean, it's Either a lot of y'all, and I know everybody didn't see eye to eye, but I've never heard of you beefing with Tajay, Tajay beefing with Dell. I've never seen any of that. Um, you know, I just want to commend you guys, you know, for keeping it classy at all times. We try to, dude. We try to. So what is Casual working on these days? Uh, right now I'm working on a gang of projects. But what I'm working on is a return to hip-hop in 2019. I want to drop multiple records. I got hella shit recorded. I ain't just been sitting on my hands. But figuring out the new way to approach people, not doing this whole wait for it long, wait hella long for the album. Oh, that's, that's the old way. Like, you just drop them, here go a video, here go a video, here go a video. What's it on? I don't know, I'll check it out, it's coming. <laughs> but it's, it, as long as they got content, I need to give my content up. And so it ain't about the skills, it ain't about knowing the business, it's about relearning the new business and making sure people can access me. 
uh, through the wire or in the simulation, what I call it. You know what I'm saying? Where can your fans follow you or uh, find you at? Casual Rap God. I just been messing with IG for a few months. I'm years late to IG, feeling like a noodle. I was all on Facebook preaching to the choir, talking to my family. <laughs> now I'm on IG, Casual Rap God. Check me out or Smash Rockwell on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? But it's really just the IG thing or hieroglyphics.com. Cool. And we can catch you next Hyrule Day? Hell yeah. What's that, September 2nd? It's always September. Well, it's always around September 3rd, but since it's September 3rd is really close to Labor Day, we throw it on the Labor Day Monday every year. So this year it might be returning. It might be back on the 3rd, I'm not sure. Cool. You know no, what? it's to the 4th, because it was the 3rd this year. Cool. And I plan on being out there this oh, year. Oh, it'll be good. It'll yeah, be no good. doubt. So I thank you for your time, man. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Um, the, uh, no doubt. Yeah. And uh, enjoy your show tonight. Warm it up. Peace. That's what's up. Peace.